Today in our 2015 Chrysler Town & Country, we'll be installing the Curt 1.25 inch receiver tube hitch, part number C12264. Here's what our hitch will look like once it's installed. We've got a square cross tube for a nice sturdy steel construction, and it comes with a limited lifetime warranty. It's made in the USA, and is a class 2 inch hitch, which means it's capable of carrying 350 pounds of tongue weight with 3,500 pounds of towing weight. Here we have our one and a quarter inch receiver tube, half inch pre-drilled hole, and our chain hole downs. Other than that, everything else is nicely concealed behind the rear bumper and doesn't stick out. Next, I'll go ahead and give you a couple measurements. This will assist you with selecting accessories such as a ball mount, bike rack, or cargo carrier. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper is five and a quarter inches. From the top of the receiver tube opening to the ground is 13 inches. We'll now go ahead and show you how to install your hitch. Now, to begin our install, so that we can expose the frame rail on the passenger side, we need to lower the exhaust. To lower the exhaust, we're gonna remove the metal hanger bolt that attaches to the frame. There are two hangers, one here behind the rear axle and one just in front of it. Now with those two bolts out of the way, you can see we can pull the exhaust down and get to the two rear attachment points or bolts that go into the frame. We're going to remove these two bolts and hang on to the hardware as we'll reuse them to secure the hitch. On the driver's side, we're going to have three attachment points. The same two we have on the passenger side with one additional one, adding a third forward attachment point. Let's go ahead and remove the fastener. Again, here on the driver's side, we'll be reusing the manufacturer's hardware. Now, once our fasteners are out of the way, we're now ready to go ahead and install our hitch. We'll feed the passenger side up above the exhaust and then bring the driver's side up to the frame and start installing our fastener. Now, sometimes when you remove the manufacturer's bolts out of the frame, the nut plate inside the frame will shift. It may be necessary to use a pry bar or a large screwdriver to shift the nut plate back over in order to reinstall your fastener. Now, as we reinstall the fasteners into our five attachment points, we'll just do each one finger tight until we have them all in place. Now, with our driver's side installed, we'll move over to the passenger side and repeat the same basic process. Now, once all our fasteners are in place, we'll go ahead and tighten them down. Next, we'll go ahead and torque the specifications as indicated in the instructions. Now with our hitch secured and torque the specifications, we'll go ahead and reinstall the exhaust. We'll just reuse the manufacturer's hardware to re-secure the exhaust hanger back to the frame. Just like that, we have everything installed and we're ready to hit the road. And that'll do it for the install of our Curt Class 2 1 quarter inch receiver tube pitch, part number C12264 on our 2015 Chrysler Town & Country.